Which one of these cats is gonna kill your GX Pokemon? I'm a fish. I can't breathe. Meow. So who's the killer? The answer is Esper. I don't want to do that. Dear Kinesis. All right, please do what I think you do. Knock that out right there. 250 damage. Okay, that's that. Yep. These cats are gonna kick your. Meow. Well, hello, Negros. And the French Olds, it's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. On this menu, I'll be serving you the Catterday deck. What's this? This is a deck where it's cheap, all your Pokemon's attack for free, there's zero energies in this deck, and this will blow up the GX Pokemon. Esper! All right, how does this work? Short, sweet, Esper doubles the damage on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. There are only two conditions you need to meet. They have to be hurt, and they have to be at the bench. The first way is that your attacks all attack for free with a bit of poke. 60 damage to the front, traps them in the front. Okay, 60 damage anywhere to a GX Pokemon. This one does 70 damage, and the next attack it does double, so that's 210 following up total. Alright, so all these attack for free due to Persian's ability, and they're all very light damage, but once you force the escape rope to switch, once you force a Guzma, they go to the bench, and when Esper follows up, that damage becomes enormous. That's because here Kinesis added it to the damage they've already taken. Woo! You get some very, very big numbers. And that's not all. I mean, there's also bonus ways to rack up damage, especially on GX Pokemons. And so basically, you attack for free, you poke, and Esper blows them up. That's what's gonna happen with this deck. All right, so. Uh, let's sh let me show you what these cats can do. Yeah, I'd like to go first. All right. Kikaru is funny in the, the, in the, in the opening scene. All right, Glam Meow. Oh, man, I hopefully you have a GX out there. That's okay. I mean, if you're going... S no, I'm going first. So I do have to retreat this if I want to do something crazy. Hey, there's a GX. Don't worry about retreating it. We got you. Red. All right, let's go and play my cover. This is Vols the Fantastica. From Final Fantasy 15. All right, what do you need? Your two core Pokemon, Meowth, and the other one, the, the the Esper. Now Esper can take this, and we need a lot more cards than what Red can provide us at the moment. So let's go ahead and just play this. All right, and it looks like I'm gonna have everything I need for next turn. The problem is Glammy was gonna attack. That's okay. 60 damage. Go for it, buddy. And that's it. I'm gonna let my opponent move, right? Yep, make make your decisions next turn. I don't I may top six something I need, so we're gonna ultra ball and do this Pokemon communication stuff later, cuz hey man, you top deck at this! Then you don't need to ultra ball for it, or yeah, wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, were you uh, into Breath of the Wild? I love Breath of the Wild. I'm definitely gonna play that on stream somewhere. I'm gonna finish that all off. Not like this that poor shining resonance. Oh, I couldn't. The, the, some games are just, ugh. Uh-oh, well, dead off the bat. Now, this is what we were... We, we have a bit of a challenge for. So, uh, Thunderous Assault, everything lined up for that. Pika Rum, mmm. Maybe I should put more of these, just, well... Ah. Thunderous Assault. Maybe I can start wearing down this Pika Rum immediately, if I land up the right combo here. Now, Meowth is a free retreat, because I don't want to deal with this. Okay, so it looks like, see, we top deck a out. That means we can Pokemon Communications. And this needs to be reshuffled back. Oh, shoot, don't pick the wrong Pokemon. Don't freaking do that. Don't freaking do, make a silly mistake again. Alright. So I do... S I think I could snipe this off. I mean, I'm gonna lose a lot of stuff. But if I can snipe, I can definitely snipe it off. Should I snipe it off now? This is gonna be a tough choice, or Lily. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna go ahead and do Perplexing Eyes. And when I die, I think I'm able to knock him out next turn. 
All right. What, did anyone watch Bruno? I do. But I read the manga, so I'm a little bit ahead on that. Okay. All right. Breath of the Wild trailer was creepy. I mean, there are a lot of... I mean, outside of Pokemon, there's some good Nintendo games, too. So, yeah, we're psyched for Sword and Shield, but... Oh, yeah, let's see. That cyberpunk. Ooh, yeah, that, that, that looks awesome. Keanu Reeves. All right, all right, back to the game. We're playing Pokemon right now. What we're doing here, we pull this up front, but he does have free retreat. However, if I do my stuff right, it will be bad for him. I do have a two shot on on this too. I can rescue stretcher to write cards back up. But right now, his damage seems pretty good. And in order to knock this out, he needs he needs a lot. Zapped. Wow, there's a lot of GXs. That's good. I can't wait for my stadium to come out and I can get Canada's perplex. I need my stadium out now. That will help so much. All right. See what is going on here. Now, if I hit him again with perplexing eyes, that's okay. That's awesome. He may have. He may have just missed it this turn. We definitely want that stadium out to burn if he missed it this turn. Okay. Well, when we say that, he he he, he missed some getting his uh, combo out there. All right. So we do need this here. 60 damage? Why not? It's free. Do we get Banana Master out now? I think we need to get Esper out now. And Banana Master out. We need both. So, we need both. We're gonna take these. We got more of these. We need Banana Master for the consistent draws. Get his cool version right here, guys. And dump everything out. Get three extra prize cards. And prize cards? I mean, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Let's get an Esper out, too. Could may need another Meowth if he snipes it off, too. I think that might be important. Yeah. Just anticipate he blows up Meowth. I can't attack. Let's do that. Let's do Perplexing Eyes. But what's the pause there for? Uh, weakness 140. Okay, you blow me up, I can just snipe this off. So he may not even try to retreat this. That's three prize cards going, and then we might be able to... Uh, Canada that off there. So these are my two big targets. I can't believe he got stuck with that Guzma. Normally you think with one energy, he's not stuck now, so he's gonna run away. Normally you think it would be enough, not be enough, but it is. Okay. Diddle's down. You have a Diddle down. Yep. But this Diddle has a bomb, and I really want that to be a cat instead of anything else. So that's why that's there. Gonna pull that retreat, got Electro Power, forward the kill in the Meow Stick, and... Yeah, let's take the three prize cards. I can use the three cards for his next turn. Then there's a soul. All right, there it goes. Yeah, dump it on one. You don't need three to die, so I can dump it on the next. Okay, you're dead now. Move it on to the next speaker rum. Okay, there's that. Now, it would be nice if I could get that this Glammy out, but... Okay, three prize cards. I forgot that was a lot. Oh yeah, Guzma. That's what you want there. Start working on this and snipe it off in a bit. Okay, who who has a free retreat? You have a free retreat. Okay, well, hook at Guzma. Let's see, another Banana Master. We can rescue Stretcher back. They're not too important. Let's get you Evolve and let's start hunting that off. Meowstick. Alright, Meowstick up. There's a bomb. Yep. Gotta go ahead and we have, we have a target. You're the target. Finish these guys off. I can't b believe I'm the, I'm the bench sniper here. All right, pull another one. Good. Now we, we're, we're kind of dead after this, but here we go. Perplexing eyes. Now I just need an Esper. Give me an Esper, man. Um, if not, I guess I can start attacking Lit until I get an Esper up because I think an Esper's attack with this will be a finisher here. Wow. You guys can see the victory. How how I'm intending to win, right? I just need the Esper. Just give me the Esper and then I can knock this off. Well, after this triggers. If this doesn't trigger and he removes it, then I'm, that's... We need to go for round two, which is... Wait a minute. If I Guzma and then hit him with Bite... Yeah, if I hit him with Bite, he couldn't retreat. Oh. Okay, well, we'll do that next so we don't get that there. But he does have a bomb that... I did need the bomb there. That, 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 oh, he had a free retreat with this. Uh, okay, so we can hit him with a bomb. And then we'll... if We just need an Esper to finish this off here. Okay. Oh, I can use Mysterious. Ah, it only works for this. It doesn't work for all this stuff. That's why Pokemon Communications is more... better. I have 19 Pokemons in the deck. 
I think this is more reliable. Because otherwise, you can only work for this. Or more shadow, which is not bad. All right, I, I survived that. Awesome. Okay, now we have Pokemon come, but we need uh, we need more stuff. So I gotta shrink my hand. I gotta shrink my hand for a Banana Master Pool. Okay, here's an escape room. I don't really care what you send out, because I'm gonna go for start for doing lit and just try to get him locked up here. I just need an Esper. Okay, uh, here, free retreat. Alright. Pull this out. He should be locked up with this. I need the pulls for the Esper. This doesn't work, but I need the extra pulls. So I don't know what to do with this. I need the extra pulls. That's the pain. <laughs> That's the pain, man. That's an escape rope, but I need an Esper. Let's go ahead and do Big Bite. You cannot retreat. There we go. It'd be weird if this thing gailed because it couldn't retreat. Now this thing is disabled. Because it can't retreat. Linton's stopping this big giant Pika Rum from retreating. He needs to play his trainers just like this. Or Guzma. Or Switch. Which he seems to have plenty of, so... It might not work. Alright. Give me any Catterday card that I can do... Uh, give me the Esper and I can win this. So, I, I have a lot of free time. He did have a retreat. And that's okay over there. Alright, so... We'll send the Meowth out. And hopefully, the Esper will come out so I can win the game. If not... Then that's what's up. Okay. Alright, Banana Master Pool. It looks like I'm gonna have to waste another one of these. But I need to thin my hand hard. I need to thin my hand super hard. Come on. Come on. Uh, I need to get an Esper out. That's all I need to win this game now. So we're gonna force a retreat, send this Bialsic out again. And maybe he might burn away through Shrine in this here. Doesn't matter what you send out. I could do Catterday instead. Because I don't care about the damage on this right now. Oh, a Cynthia! Bingo! That's what we need. We just need a Meow- Oh yeah, two Espers! Two Espers. Alright, I don't care. I don't care if I'm even attacking you. Oh, I do need a retreat. I do need a retreat, but that retreat is right there in my hand. So that's okay. I don't care about the damage. I need just the right cards at the moment to win. And he's like, <laughs> didn't want to sleep there. Alright, so that thing's looking weak. We just need an Esper to snipe that off. Don't have a Mew or anything. If you did have a Mew, we just have to do it the harder way. Okay, you won with Spell Tag. I don't think so. Not... Oh yeah, I could have attacked. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. One energy at the retreat. So, I think when this thing dies, all I just need to do is Ear Kinesis and that's gone. And we're two prize cards. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that. Thank I guess we blow up Tactic Oak Jax real well. Wow. Okay. I think you guys see how I'm gonna win. I use this attack to kill that. That's it. I'm waiting for, all I'm waiting for, man. Alright, dump it on this. Get, finish off the game with a big giant move. Alright. Here we go. The shrine's gone. So we're gonna send the cat today out, and we're gonna do ear kinesis. Here we go. Ear Kinesis. Knock that out. That will explode in big giant numbers. Oh yeah. And that's the three prize cards there. And that's the third prize card. Woo! In before Max Motion. Don't screw it up, Volfi. Ah, Good game, man. Good game. Wow. I, luckily, it was the it was that variant and not Pure Zapdos. Because we, we... Yeah, we do big damage. But against lower... Weaker... Weaker... Like one prize is a little bit challenging. Yeah! Cheapest. You called the coin flip. You've won. I've won the coin flip. I'm going first. <laughs> I'm not even watching this real time. I'm watching everybody on my Twitch. It's here. So. Alright! What kind of hand is this? This is a bad hand. This is a bad, bad, bad hand. This is like you, 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 you screwed. Oh, but that's, that's how it is. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Blastoise? Ooh. Ooh. That, that'd be nice. But if I'm dead two or three turns, I'm not going to be able to keep up with that Blastoise right there. All right, so I'm going to cover. This is Batak Road for Naruto. Let's hope this top deck is good. Not bad. Yep, we did get a draw supporter. Not bad. Not good enough, but not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down a Esper. Articuno, huh? 
Okay. So that's gonna be tough. Let's go ahead and play Lily here. Big card draw. And luckily, no, unfortunately, we... Well, we did, we get, did get this. We did get this here, so I'll end my turn there. I do get Esper up. And if I Cynthia for a retreat and a Meow, I'm good next turn. Uh, luckily, Articuno doesn't one-shot me. Very, very fortunate with that. So, Blastoise, Articuno, that looks like the deck we did not too long ago. Okay, so... We're not in bad shape. But by far... By far... Yeah, yeah. So, let me see. Is this the free retreat? Oh, man. Marshadow, you think this is... Luckily, this is a bad hand, so... We'll, um... Okay. That's a Marshadow. Well, this is not that bad of a hand, but... He thinks this is a good. This may be even helpful. This is that was. A, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad because I can get Banana Master with this. I think I'm gonna do that. I still have to worry about retreating this and evolving it too. Dang it! I lost the Rescue Stretchers. Because I don't want him. No, it doesn't matter. He's already set up with that. We don't need to worry about that. But I can't get rid of this out of my. Ah, that sucks. Luckily, you have one more. We need him draws, so this cast to go. I'm getting maximum pulls with my data masters. Rescue stretchers, that just sucks. So in order to attack, I need this Meowth to evolve and to retreat too. We have no energy, so... Oh yes, they evolved. Hang on. I might not be able to get this one back, so let's go ball the back one here. Now let's Lily. Thank you, Banana Master, for pulling Lily. Retreat, retreat, escape rope! You gotta be kidding me, thank you! All right, escape rope. You know, with no energy to switch, we might need a little bit more of that department right there. All right. So we'll set it out. We're ready to go. We can start blue bearing up, and that would really make his life annoying when we start losing. If he starts losing energy here. Oh my gosh, that that's a prize card, buddy. All right. Well, that's a prize card. Thank you. Here we go. Rexing eyes. That's a prize. <laughs> could have been anything, but okay. Meow. 60 damage, that's enough to follow up after uh, this here. We're good! So, uh, luckily this is just a two-shot. We have 9 HP, that's so fragile. Unfortunately, we don't get a KO with this here. Evolve the fall pre-retreat? Oh yeah, you can do that! You can evolve that! I guess it didn't matter. Oh! <laughs> this is what you get when it's your second time playing- oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> awesome! Thank you for reminding me that. Okay, I gotta think about it. Hey, buddy. This thing is pre-retreat, send it out when you die. <laughs> Ah, that's... Thank you for reminding that. Alright, double... What the... You got your double blast voice on your second turn? Balls, yes. Balls, yes. Congratulations. Alright, so... I'm not sure if I want to believe in Plumeria this, but we do need another Meowstick. We gotta get another Meowstick up. We gotta get that other... Fresh Meowstick up here. Oh, it missed! Oh, I'm sorry, bro! That sucks! And now if he attacks, he'll... Out, he'll he may pass the Blastoise, or we may pass the Arcona. It's gonna go Blastoise. Interesting. And luckily the Shrine's up, so good. Okay. Do we want to remove his energies? Now he could just get flooded back, so I'm a little worried about that. So instead... His energy bonus is just so good that I'm gonna pass up with the Plumerians right here. And instead, we're gonna get another Esper up, because that's what we need. Here we go, Esper. Spell tag. I'll use the Litten. It stops this from retreating, so I might even retreat and hit the Litten. Here we go. Let's go get one more card here. And do we want any of these back? I don't know. I'd rather use them for Guzmas or even Draws here, because I mean, this thing can be explosive that you might not have to worry. Need it. Alright. It looks like we're pretty secure for the next couple of turns, too. So we're going to do Plexing Eyes. Zombie lover! It's him again! Benju hype for Smash! I saw that trailer! It was like it looked like the Donkey Kong one. You thought it would be, but then Crocodile's chilling with Donkey Kong down. It's awesome. Thank you, Zombie Lover, for the sub! 21 months! No, I know. It's, not, it's a lot more pressure than that. <laughs> Thank you, Zombie Lover. Yeah! Oh, Banjo's cool. I have to remember we do have a Banjo cover too. Thank you, Zombie. Alright! Let's go! So, if he attacks me... Oh, he missed again? Dude, I feel for you. Sheepus, I'm sorry. I sympathize, because that thing just happened to me until the all stream when I was with the Blastoise there. Alright, so... We could knock out the Articuno. 
but actually, he's not even gonna hurt me. <laughs> because this Blastoise is, is, uh, yeah. This Blastoise is being a jerk. So we'll take a prize card. We will take that prize card. I don't even need anything this turn. And what I, I do need these for next turn. So I'm gonna save, I'm not gonna Lily. I could shrink my hand, but we'll see. I, I need to keep this hand. Let's do Perplexing Eyes. Now, if we want a two shot, I'm thinking about what to put my, my spell attack bombs for. I'm thinking very. I don't know where I put my spell attack bombs. I don't think Esper's normal attack can take this out just yet. So if if he takes if he hits me, I think we're gonna dump everything on here. This thing's got a lot of HP. We're gonna need to uh, let's see Esper to bench type GX. Yeah, that's one thing. This thing has a lot of HP and it also has the solid shell attack. So we're. We probably need the extra help from this to knock this out. That, yeah, this thing's this stupid solid shell is gonna turn this into a forty. So we're gonna judge. Ah, oh, my hand was good, but we're totally safe with this. Meow stick today. Yep. Got red up. This is a good hand. I don't need the red. I can just sit the other up. All right. So where do you put? You're about to die. Where do you put the bursting bombs? Right here. <laughs> this thing's got a solid shell. I, you know, I'm. It's a little tough to math out without, you know, real time. So I don't know like where to put this up to be useful. We're gonna put everything on the Blastoise. You're meaty, and I respect your extra health. I don't know what I didn't if I need it. <laughs> yeah, you only can do 30 damage to that solid shell there. So we're gonna set it up here. We're gonna get another meow stick up, and I'm gonna need a better selection of cards than just these here. So red, I'm uh, sorry, red. We're gonna get this up here. Now this thing could do a lot. This thing can do a lot of damage if we send it back. But let me see. We're gonna do perplexing eyes. But we're, we can't finish it off with nothing like this. This thing's not weak enough. It's not weak enough. It's Blastoise. It's Blastoise. Alright. Not a bad hand. Let's go ahead and do Perplexing Eyes. We need to put more damage on this. Now at this point, I might be able to knock it out with Eukinesis. I might be able to do it. Eukinesis might be enough. Alright, so instead of... Or I could do... Just Evolve and Straight Kill it. That is a choice too. Is be basically, I don't. We'll lose only an Esper. You could kill it with the Esper. It looks like it, even with the solid shell. If I play an escape rope, if I play an escape rope, I might be able to do it. Uh, do 150 damage. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Rocket splash, it is. Let's go ahead and put the... We might be able to... Yeah, let's put the damage on one of these guys here. Mmm. Mm, need more bench damage. So... He, only, he needs to lose two energies. Where are we to put the damage? Alright. I have only one more escape rope. Wait. Okay, where the damage goes? I think this is gone. I think this is a big target that needs to die. Step going for, yeah. We gotta shut this down. We gotta shut you down, buddy. Alright, so what do we do? Send the person up? I think we knock out the Blastoise next turn. Alright, here we go. Esper. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need to recycle. That's the last. It came right when I needed it. Okay. Two Meow Sticks, two Espers, or two, two Espers, two Meow Sticks? I don't know. I'll stick to this, because we still have other ways to do damage. Alright, let's escape rope this up. It's like, why are you doing that? Alright, we're gonna retreat, we're gonna use Esper's counter day attack to snipe this off. And then let this die, because <laughs> there's not even no point here. And hopefully I can find... I wonder if there's any way to recycle these spell types. Those spins very nice. Why didn't you uh, just retreat with the free retreat costs? Did it? 
Huh? Am I missing something? Let's go ahead and do this here, and we're gonna ear kinesis this off. Hey, a meow stick and a spell tag! Oh yeah, thank you, spell tags! And I don't know if I should evolve. I could. It doesn't matter, right? Do I evolve against this Articuno? Well, it will actually live! Episode- wait. Oh, only the front one can evolve. I don't want to do that. Ear kinesis! Alright, please do what I think you do. Knock that out right there! 250 damage? Okay, that's dead. Alright, two prize cards is and the Articuno. I'm sorry, no, Guzma, which you can't use. Okay! You need the GX on the bench. What GX? Oh, oh, I, I took it out! Hey, you know what? Maybe the regular Meows. Nah, we don't have no energies. We can't use anything with energies. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we need two more prize cards, guys. And I kind of want to goose with this eventually. This is dead. And if I put all my da actually, if I put all my spell tags right here, I can knock it out with the regular perplexing eyes. That's a prize card. I think that's good. Yep. And then let me see. I can do eighty to this. That's not actually that's enough. I can use an escape. I need another Esper. And then I can knock this out with the uh, Esper. So we'll do that. I think that's the best way to do it. Put all the spell tag damage on this. Knock it out with this move. And then use Perplexing Eyes to kill this. Should be enough. Alright! Alright, dump everything on this. Finish the Articuno off. Dump everything here. That thing came at the right time. Alright! This looks good. I see I, I see a win coming. Just don't mess anything up. Alright, play this here. Okay, we don't need... Uh, we don't need another Meowth. Because there are two versions out. We do need a Esper. And because we don't need anything else, we'll just go ahead and thin and take these two out, because I, I don't need them. Moving energy off the Blastoise, why not? Doesn't matter, because his energy bonus is so good. And let's go ahead and blow this here. Pair with Weezing, we have no energies in deck. This makes pairing weird. Alright, Perplexing Eyes! Yeah! 70 damage! One more prize card to go! Glam Meow! Well, there's no, there's no Boing Boing Tail here. Nothing Boing Boing Tail with. Alright! We have no energies in this deck. We're using Karadei's free attack to ignore all the energy costs and using that 11 extra deck space that would normally be for energies to put all whatever stuff we want. Blastoise is coming out. And I think if my math is right, I can one-shot this with with uh, Ear Kinesis. So I'm going to escape rope and kill him. Or I can Guzma and kill him. That's fine. Powerful Squall. So I'm going to Guzma instead because I don't want to make a choice. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. Alright. And it should be faster if I just Guzma and just knocked out this Blastoise with the last prize card. You got it, Donald? Landing X? Everyone's looking like this is looking like a kill, right? And if I do lose that Esper, I can uh, do this here. Da -da 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 -da. Erica's Hospital for maximum. He's at six cards left. And that's the thing with Blastoise. You can only really fight with one Blastoise GX. Oh, you know, I'm wrong about that. He can get another one up. He could totally get another one up. Alright. Canada against Blastoise GX? You got it, man. Hydro Tackle. Da -da 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 -da. Man. And he hurt himself, so that even more damage for me. Uh, free retreat here. And we're gonna Guzma. Oh, Wondrous Labyrinth. Donald, you won the game. Just finish it, bro. It doesn't matter what. Pull something else. Esper, let's go. And let's go ahead and do Ear Kinesis onto this right here. Take that last prize card. <laughs> 140 damage? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's You can beat last one GX with a counter deck. deck. Good, good deal. We're somewhere in the ballpark with the right deck now. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! Yes! Donald, how do you feel about this deck? I like it. Yes, I'm going to give it a bonus score, too, of an F. Fresh and fun. Seriously, this combo is different. It feels unique from, you know, other decks where I try to charge up a Pokemon, set up, put energies, and fight with the... This one has no energies. You're trying to do a special combo that is, you know, kind of interesting. So, I like it. Damage-wise, it's a two-hit, and it always is a two-hit. Which is bad against one prize deck. We'll get to that. So we'll give it a B as it's a two hit. You need two hits and you always need two hits. Defense, they're kind of low on HP, where Zapdos can one hit most of these cards and 
Oh, yeah. If you go against the Zapdos, you're, you've lost already. One prize dex, you will lose to them. Reliability, it sets up nicely because there's no energies, and you can use all that extra bench space for funky stuff, setting up. It is pretty good and consistent. We'll give it a B plus. Uh, rating, I'm going to give it a minus. B minus, it's great against GXs. But against non-GXs, you will be at a disadvantage. You're not killing them fast enough. They're sniping off your cats. You're not going to make it in time. So that's... It's a gimmick deck. It's a gimmick. Okay, so that is that. Uh, Yeah, what, what is up for next time? We're going to do Charizard. Detective Pikachu Charizard. Because look at this energy cost. Is that... Think, do you think it could be improved with something new from this expansion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he turned out... Well... We'll see. That is it for now. Thank you, and girls, for friends. Take it easy, stay safe. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Now, next time is gonna be on Monday, but I'll be in Arizona all next week, so everything's gonna be pre-recorded till then. Why? Vacation. Yep. All right. So that is it for now. Thank you, and girls, for friends. Take it easy, stay safe. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.